Hey everyone, this is Andy Melbuff, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can import into Desmos Classroom Activities things that we've created on other canvases. For example, existing Desmos graphs created in the graphing calculator, polygraphs, and polypads from Mathagon. To begin with, we're going to take a look at how we can import something that was created in the Desmos graphing calculator into an activity in a couple of different ways. We can add a full screen graphing calculator for the students, or we can also add a simple graph component. And to do that, we're going to need the URL from the existing Desmos graph, and we're going to paste it into the expression box in the calculator. So I'm going to start by adding a full screen graphing calculator. And here are the expression boxes on the left. And I want to bring in an existing graph that I had created elsewhere. So I'm going to go to a different tab here in which I have my Desmos graph and calculator. And I've pulled up an activity I've saved created by Bob Lachelle with parametric animation. And rather than me recreating all these lines, all these boxes here, I can simply copy this and paste it into my Desmos classroom activity. So up top here, I'm going to select the URL. I'm going to copy it with Control C. I'm going to go back to my Desmos activity and in one of these expression boxes I can paste it in using a control V function or if you're using a Mac you would want to use command V and that graph and all its functionality comes in and if we check it out in preview mode this is what the students would see. Now if you don't want the students to interact with this graph if you just want them to view it and not edit anything in the expression boxes we'd want to add a different type of component. We want to add, instead of the full screen graph and calculator, a graph component. So I'm going to delete this component I just created. And instead, over here under the standard components, I'm going to add a graph component. It functions just like a full screen graph and calculator, except the students will not be able to edit or adjust anything that's, that are in the expression boxes. So I'll click on Edit Graph. And since I've still got that original Desmos URL copied, I should be able to paste it in. And here it's functioning in the same way it did before. I can click Done. And in preview mode, here the student can see that visually, what's going on in the graph. However, they will not be able to edit any of the express, expression boxes. Our next example is going to take a look at how we can bring in or import a polygraph that existed from somebody else or maybe you created one elsewhere and paste it into our Desmos classroom activity. So I have in my title here a little bit of a, a direction for us. We're going to copy from the screen preview and then we're going to paste onto a blank slide. My slide right now is blank. So I'm going to go to a polygraph that I'd found before that I thought was pretty interesting on quadratics by Jessica Wall. And if I want to use this polygraph in my classroom activity, I want to go to the screen preview. So I can just click on this screen right here. Now I'm in student screen preview. And this little icon here that I'm hovering over allows me to copy that screen. I just click it and that acts as control C from this screen preview. I can go back to my activity and I can simply paste it in up here or down here in the canvas, either spot. I'm going to paste it up here with Control V. And that polygraph goes in. And when students are signed in, they can start playing right here. Now, one downside to this is I lost my title up here. Uh, that polygraph is a full screen component and it replaced the title. So my title disappeared that I had before. Our third example is going to look at how we can import a polypad that we've created in our Mathagon account and add it to a Desmos activity. So here I've got a blank screen created and my directions on the top. We're going to add the polypad component and then we're going to paste the URL from the existing one onto this canvas. So before I can paste, I need to add my polypad component. So that's down here in the lower right. And here's the canvas I'll paste into, but first I have to get the URL for that. So I'm going to go to my Polypad account, 
and in my library I'm going to choose solve two-step linear equations. I'm going to open that and here's my algebra tiles example that I had created for students and I'm going to go up top and I'm going to copy the URL again with control C or command C. I'll go back to my Desmos activity and in this canvas right here I'm going to paste this in and then this algebra tiles activity comes in with the full functionality for the students to solve just like it would be in Mathagon. So that's a short introduction of how we can import different things into our Desmos activities like Desmos graphs, polygraphs, and polypads. Thanks.